Top 3 Overlooked Superfoods, Boosting Kidney Cleanse and Detox Knowing this information will really help your health. In developed countries, over 24% of chronic kidney disease cases are linked to diet. It's straightforward. If you eat poorly, your risk of kidney issues shoots up. It's no joke. About 1 in 7 American adults has chronic kidney disease, or CKD in short, which is among the top 10 causes of death in the U.S. Worse still, most people with CKD don't even know they have it. That's why taking good care of your kidneys is crucial, even though you may feel completely normal now. However, the internet is full of false information about suitable foods. Many folks mistakenly assume that the regular diet and the kidney disease diet are the same. So, they unnecessarily avoid nutritious foods that are actually kidney-friendly. Today, we will spill the beans on the top three powerful yet overlooked superfoods that support cleaning your kidneys. These foods are rich in antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients that can help prevent kidney stones, infections, tumors, or kidney failure. We'll also share how to eat them for the most kidney benefits. Stick around for the last superfood. It's a real eye-opener. Before we dive in, kindly note that all information you'll find in this video is fact-checked, unbiased, and reviewed by qualified professionals. All right, it's time to swing back to the top overlooked superfoods that support kidney cleansing. Three, eggs, especially egg yolks. The key to supporting kidney cleanse is to keep your kidneys functioning well, and eggs are an essential part of that. Eggs are powerhouse foods loaded with kidney-friendly vitamins and minerals, such as vitamins A, D, E, K, folate, and zinc. These nutrients work as antioxidants and immune boosters, shielding your kidneys from harm caused by oxidative stress. Almost every kidney-friendly diet recommends eating high-quality proteins. Eggs are a cost-effective and easily accessible source of protein, providing energy for your busy day. To give you an idea, when we eat protein, our body breaks it down into its building blocks called amino acids. Now, there's a scale called the Protein Digestibility Corrected Amino Acid Score, or PDCAS in short, that tells us how good a protein is. It looks at the kinds of amino acids in the food and how well our body can digest them. Remember that your kidneys need high-quality proteins, so it's great that your food has a high PDCAAS score. Eggs get a perfect score of 1 on the PDCAAS scale. This means they have all the amino acids our body needs, and our body can easily digest them. Plus, these small nutrient powerhouses have a biological value of 100, meaning that our body uses egg protein very efficiently. The best part is that eggs contain all nine essential amino acids, like leucine, which your body can't produce by itself. While some believe that egg white contains all the protein, the yolk actually contributes nearly half of it. Again, since high-quality proteins are important for your kidneys, consider eating the yolks. However, the University of California recommends choosing egg whites over whole eggs for kidney health. Why do they suggest that? Are the yolks overlooked? Let's take a closer look. First, egg yolks are high in choline. According to a 2019 study in Advances in Nutrition, kidney disease can worsen if you eat a lot of egg yolks, which have choline. Basically, when gut bacteria break down choline, they produce a compound called trimethylamine N-oxide, or TMAO. TMAO can speed up kidney disease by causing fibrosis and scarring in the kidneys. In a 2014 study, higher TMAO levels in 521 CKD patients were linked to a 2.8-fold increase in the risk of death. However, the evidence about TMAO and kidney disease is unclear, so there's no clear recommendation to avoid foods that produce TMAO. Individual differences in TMAO levels also highly vary in response to dietary intake of TMAO precursors, such as egg yolks. This underscores the role of biochemical individuality and the importance of being attuned to your body, as well as working with a practitioner. Also, you don't need to stress over choline or TMAO in egg yolks if you don't overeat. Choline is still vital for cell function, as it supports methylation, a biochemical process that regulates a host of integral bodily functions, brain development, and bone health. 
and it only becomes a concern for your kidneys if you eat too many egg yolks. Experts also suggest egg whites might be a better option for people with chronic kidney disease or following a renal diet. This diet often restricts certain nutrients like phosphorus, which can be found in higher amounts in egg yolks. Simply put, healthy kidneys effectively clear extra phosphorus from the blood. But if you have CKD, your kidneys might not do this job well, causing harmful phosphorus levels in your blood vessels, lungs, eyes, and heart. Too much phosphorus can raise the risk of heart attack, stroke, or even death over time. So, should you completely take out the yolk? Remember that a renal diet is specifically designed for people with impaired kidneys. If your kidneys are healthy, they can efficiently filter out any excess phosphorus, so you don't need to worry about limiting it. However, if you have CKD, you may need to restrict your phosphorus intake. Note that when they recommend restricting the phosphorus, they mean limit. You don't have to remove it entirely, as it reduces the protein value of the egg. Moreover, egg yolks contain kidney-friendly vitamins like A, C, E, and K, plus minerals like zinc that aren't found in egg whites. Also, vitamin D is crucial for kidney health, and egg yolks offer a bit of it, while egg whites have none. One large egg yolk offering about 41 IU. Although this is just a tiny amount compared to daily needs of 600 to 800 IU, Research in diabetic rats shows that eating whole eggs may be more effective than taking vitamin D supplements at safeguarding kidney health. More importantly, egg yolks are one of the richest sources of phospholipids. Phospholipids can raise HDL cholesterol, which is a good kind that's beneficial for heart health. This counters the misconception that cholesterol from egg yolks is terrible for your heart and further strains your kidneys. Remember, this cholesterol HDL is the good kind. Eating eggs daily can improve the balance of HDL cholesterol in your body, helping clear cholesterol from your cells. So, to get the most benefits from eggs, consider eating the yolks too. But of course, you can't eat unlimited amounts of whole eggs. Moderation is important. Now, let's explore some tips to enjoy the best eggs. Usually, pasture-raised and organic eggs are considered better for you than caged and conventionally produced ones. For the best kidney benefits, Go for cooked eggs. Your body can use 91% of the protein in cooked eggs, way more than the 51% in raw ones. However, cooking eggs for longer periods at higher temperatures can lead to a loss of nutrients, as with many other foods. So, don't overcook them. Moreover, try to limit the salt and calories added, which may burden your kidneys. For example, frying eggs can increase their fat content by 50%. You can enjoy boiled or poached eggs without added salt or scrambled eggs without butter, using low-fat milk instead of cream. However, avoid microwaving eggs in their shells as they might explode due to pressure buildup. Whatever the recipe, it's best to combine eggs with vegetables for extra fiber and vitamins to boost your kidney health. If you're enjoying our video so far, please give us some hints by dropping a like, and we'll make more content like this. 2. Broccoli when talking about veggies for kidney cleanse, one might think of kale, bok choy, or cabbage. But let's not forget about broccoli. It's got some serious benefits, too. It's full of kidney-friendly nutrients, such as fibers, vitamin C, K, and iron. In a study published in PLOS-1, researchers examined 12 studies involving 1.2 million people and 5,773 cases of kidney cancer. They discovered that consuming more cruciferous vegetables, like broccoli, led to a 19% lower risk of kidney cancer overall. Notably, this reduction was more pronounced among Americans, showing a 23% decrease in risk. Now, the exciting thing about broccoli is that it is packed with antioxidants, such as sulforaphane. This small molecule plays a big role in protecting our kidneys from harm caused by oxidative stress and inflammation a major factor in starting and worsening kidney disease. Sulforaphane in broccoli is not only one potent antioxidant, but it can also stimulate the production of other antioxidants in your body. Simply put, sulforaphane from broccoli excels at boosting a protein called NRF2. This protein triggers the production of antioxidant enzymes, combating oxidative stress and inflammation. So, 
by boosting NRF2 levels, sulforaphane can help shield your kidneys from damage and support their cleansing process. Let's look at a 2004 study published in the Journal of Nutrition. In this study, scientists had two groups of mice, one with NRF2 and one without. They fed both groups broccoli seeds. The group with NRF2 showed a 1.5-fold increase in detoxification enzymes, which are produced with the help of NRF2. However, this increase was not seen in mice lacking NRF2. In a 2023 review in Life Sciences, scientists analyzed sulforaphane's effects on kidney health in various preclinical studies. They found that sulforaphane helps the kidneys clear out creatinine, a waste product from creatine. In 25 of 209 studies, sulforaphane intake boosted creatinine clearance by 88%. Additionally, this potent compound can help lower urea levels in the blood by up to 322%. Plus, this powerful compound reduces protein in urine and improves kidney scarring and damage. Specifically, kidney scarring improved by 224%, and the markers of kidney injury improved by 151%. The best part is that sulforaphane from broccoli is well-absorbed, with up to about 80% of it being absorbed into the body when animals eat broccoli. And get it! Eating broccoli regularly can even lower your risk of kidney stones. Simply put, broccoli contains very little oxalate. Oxalate usually combines with calcium in your gut and leaves your body in stool. Yet, too much oxalate without enough calcium can lead to its absorption into your blood and end up in your urine. If your kidneys aren't functioning well, or your urine is concentrated or acidic, oxalates may bind with calcium in the kidneys, forming crystals that become stones. These are called calcium oxalate stones, which make up over 80% of kidney stones. The good news is that a cup of chopped broccoli contains just 1 to 2 milligrams of oxalate, which is very low. So, if you replace high oxalate vegetables such as spinach, collard, rhubarb, beets, or Swiss chard with broccoli, you can naturally reduce kidney stones. Moreover, in a study from 2020, researchers found that sulforaphane in broccoli helps reduce the buildup of calcium oxalate in mice with kidney damage. But wait, is broccoli totally safe if you have kidney disease? Broccoli contains some potassium and some patients with advanced CKD may sweat it as their kidneys struggle to remove excess potassium. Despite this, the health benefits, possibly due to sulforaphane, outweigh the risks. In fact, the National Kidney Foundation, or NKF, recommends broccoli as a kidney-friendly food. It is low in sodium and phosphorus, making it suitable for CKD patients, even at later stages requiring transplant or dialysis. Besides broccoli, Brussels sprouts, celery, mustard greens, cabbage, cauliflower, kale, and kohlrabi are all low in oxalates and rich in sulforaphane. Among these veggies, broccoli has the most sulforaphane, but broccoli sprouts contain even higher levels, about 10 to 100 times more than mature broccoli. Research also found that broccoli sprouts have more robust antioxidant activity than broccoli heads. So, don't just stick to the heads. Get creative with the sprouts. Add them to your salads, sandwiches, wraps, soups, and smoothies. You might be surprised by the crunchy and soothing effect they bring. Also, note that cooking broccoli might deactivate the enzyme that makes sulforaphane, but you can reactivate it by chopping your broccoli at least 40 minutes before cooking. Also, add a bit of mustard seed powder to cooked broccoli. This simple tip will help you absorb sulforaphane better. But before you dig in, consider a few tips to pick the best broccoli for your kidney cleanse. Did you know that broccoli ranks 21st on the list of foods most contaminated with pesticides by the Environmental Working Group, or EWG? So, opt for fresh and organic broccoli, or look for labels mentioning Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, which can help minimize your exposure to pesticides. Choose broccoli with deep green florets, tight buds, slender, firm stems, and rigid stalks. It's best to avoid broccoli that appear yellowish or are beginning to bloom, as the yellowing of broccoli signals a loss of freshness and nutritional value. They may also come with bitter taste. Also, check that the leaves are brittle. 
the freshest broccoli will have a moist cut end too. Plus, broccoli pairs well with other healthy kidney-friendly choices like garlic, olive oil, and herbs. Let's roast or stir-fry them together for an extra burst of flavor. For those interested in the evidence, the studies supporting our claims are provided in the description box. 1. Avocado Oil Using oil for a kidney cleanse might sound weird, but avocado oil is just what you need to keep your kidneys in top shape. Yes, we do need fat in our diet. Fat is one of the three main nutrients our body needs, along with carbs and protein. Actually, healthy oils and fats are recommended by the NKF for various kidney conditions and treatments, including CKD, kidney transplant, dialysis, and kidney stones. These oils and fats provide essential fatty acids, or EFAs in short, that our body can't make on its own. Also, fat helps regulate hormones, protects our organs, and nourishes our cells. But eating the wrong fats, like trans fats, can raise your bad cholesterol, cause inflammation, and increase your risk of stroke, heart attack, and kidney failure. So knowing which fats are best for your kidneys is important. Avocado oil is full of monounsaturated fat, which is really healthy. This fat can lower your LDL, bad, cholesterol, and reduce inflammation, supporting kidney health. Specifically, avocado oil comprises around 50 to 75% oleic acid, a beneficial monounsaturated omega-9 fatty acid for heart health. Also, the total amount of omega-6, which our bodies don't want, is quite low. Another great thing about avocados is their antioxidant content which helps fight free radicals and inflammation. This can help protect your kidneys from harm, as we discussed earlier. Luckily, avocado oil is rich in potent antioxidants, such as lutein, carotenoids, and vitamin E. For example, just one teaspoon, or 15 milliliters, can give you 20% of your daily value for vitamin E. In a 2024 study, scientists fed diabetic rats either a regular diet or one supplemented with avocado oil. Note that diabetes is the top cause of kidney failure. In the study, diabetic rats given avocado oil had less kidney damage. So, avocado oil may help slow down kidney damage and regulate blood sugar levels. In an earlier study, scientists looked at how avocado oil and prozosin, a blood pressure lowering drug, affected rats with high blood pressure. Remember, just like diabetes, high blood pressure can lead to kidney issues. The results were promising. Both avocado oil and prozosin showed comparable benefits, such as lowering blood pressure, improving kidney blood vessel function, and reducing kidney damage. Also, only avocado oil seemed to be effective at reducing harmful free radicals. Several other animal studies also suggest avocado oil could prevent and possibly reverse kidney damage. So, further human studies are required to confirm these kidney benefits. Moreover, some kidney-friendly nutrients, such as vitamins A, D, E, and K, require fat for absorption in your body. But fruits and vegetables, despite being rich in antioxidants, often contain little fat. So, adding avocado oil or another fat source to your meal could improve your absorption of these nutrients. The best part? Avocado oil has a high smoke point. When the oil reaches its smoke point, it can catch fire, destroying valuable nutrients and releasing carcinogen compounds, such as acrolein. These compounds will put more strain on your kidneys, which have to work to filter them. So, with its high smoke point, avocado oil remains stable or can withstand high temperatures, unlike many other plant-based oils. Unrefined avocado oil has a smoke point of about 480 degrees Fahrenheit, or 250 degrees Celsius, while the smoke point for refined avocado oil is 520 degrees Fahrenheit, or 271 degrees Celsius. This property makes avocado oil a healthier option for cooking. Now, avocados sometimes get a bad reputation for kidney disease because they're high in potassium. But let's set the record straight. If you don't have kidney issues, your kidneys will naturally manage any extra potassium, so feel free to enjoy avocados. Even if you have kidney disease, it's not necessarily a deal breaker. Your potassium needs depend on your specific stage. 
Typically, if you're in the early stages or have had a kidney transplant, there's usually no need to strictly limit potassium. In fact, for those on dialysis, a blood filtering technique, you might even need more potassium. But remember, if your kidneys are healthy, avocados are a fantastic choice. Plus, they're low in sodium, phosphorus, and oxalate, making them a great option for kidney health. And avocado oil is even better. It doesn't contain any potassium, salt, phosphorus, or oxalate. This can help you add flavor to dishes without turning to salt or unhealthy fat. If you decide to use avocado oil, look for virgin, unrefined, cold, pressed varieties. This type doesn't undergo high heat or added chemicals, which is better for kidney health. The refined process strips the oil of its antioxidant benefits. Avocado oil's high smoke point makes it perfect for frying, baking, grilling, sautéing, and roasting. However, we still suggest cooking avocado oil at lower temperatures to preserve more nutrients. Plus, the mild flavor also makes avocado oil versatile for use in salad dressings, marinades, dipping oil, and drizzling. When buying avocado oil, opt for ones stored in dark glass or metal containers. These materials help shield the oil from heat and light, which can affect its quality. Also, avocado oil isn't ideal for prolonged or repeated heating. By storing your avocado oil in a cool, dark spot, you're ensuring it stays fresh and maintains its beneficial properties. Typically, avocado oil is a bit pricier compared to some other plant oils. If you're concerned about cost, consider a wallet and kidney-friendly alternative like olive oil. Any other recommendations? Drop your thoughts in the comments. It might help someone else in our community. And there you have it, the superfoods that are often overlooked but can really help cleanse and detox your kidneys. We hope this gives you more confidence in picking foods for your kidney health. Instead of just worrying about specific nutrients like phosphorus, sodium, or potassium, remember to focus on your whole diet and food quality. And remember, balance, moderation, and trying different foods are the key. Let's embrace a diet full of whole, natural foods like eggs, broccoli, and unrefined avocado oils. Adding these superfoods to our meals sets the stage for strong kidneys and a healthy life. You'll feel so much more energetic and will function so much better. Remember, these foods do not replace medical care, and everyone's health needs differ. It's best to talk to your healthcare provider for personalized advice to make sure these foods fit well with your health goals. It is also equally important to be attuned to your body and engage in a healthy lifestyle while managing stress. Also, for the sake of your kidneys, remember to drink enough water to keep your urine light yellow. And don't forget to stay active. If you enjoyed this video, we believe you'll enjoy the video on the screen. Here we share the top 10 drinks to help cleanse your kidneys and tips for using them. See you there. And if you're serious about mastering your health and understanding how the body works, make sure you subscribe to us. Hit the bell icon and turn on all notifications so you never miss a life-saving video. Stay informed, stay healthy.